So Dr. Scholz, this next patient says that they are 70 years old and on Lupron. They try to work out daily, but their muscles need a day to relax. Is this acceptable to prevent muscle loss from hormone therapy? The style that's used to maintain muscles when men have low testosterone, um, that the style that I ascribe to is based on what the, uh, the bodybuilders do. The bodybuilders, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and their ilk, uh, have a system where you work out intensely for one day, and then you let your muscles rest uh, for 48 hours. The idea is they break the muscle down with an intense workout, and then you let them rebuild over a period of about 48 hours. Then you go back and break them down again. So the, the rhythm that this person is suggesting actually follows closely with that idea is that you give your muscles a day to rest. Some uh, bodybuilders will work different sections of the body uh, on alternate days, like upper body on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, lower body on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And then those muscles are given, indeed, a 48-hour rest, but uh, they're doing some kind of exercise every day. And, uh, but the idea of giving some recovery time is pretty much basic for any kind of bodybuilding, and bodybuilding is what we're asking our patients to do when they have low testosterone, not so much that they can augment their muscle size, but that they can maintain what they already have. Do you feel like if a patient is working out about three times a week and giving themselves breaks in between, that's a really healthy exercise routine? Right. I think that that's optimal. This next question is from a wife. She says her husband is preparing to get seeds done because he's experiencing bladder issues. He urinates constantly, even though he has not drank that much water. He's a truck driver, so this is hindering his work. Is this urinating constantly normal before the procedure? And uh, they've only marked the areas where the seeds will be done. So one uh, hesitation with seeds, and I'm a big fan of brachytherapy seed implant treatment for prostate cancer, at least for the men that need treatment. Uh, but one hesitation is the increase in urinary symptoms that can happen immediately after the seed implant. So men that have a lot of pre-existing urinary symptoms uh, need to perhaps reconsider doing a seed implant. And uh, this gentleman needs to be evaluated for the reason for his increased urinary frequency. Is it a big prostate, a blocked prostate? What's going on? I think it would be unwise to just go straight into a seed implant with someone that has this many pre-existing urinary symptoms. I think the reason for the symptoms need to be diagnosed and, and managed. If they can be improved, then certainly a seed implant is quite appropriate. But if the uh, situation can't be rectified, then maybe he's going to have to consider some other form of, the, of uh, treatment. Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and our mascot, Hunter. You can check out his Instagram, Sir Hunter the Dow, at the link below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And in fact, if this dog high fives me, high five, high five. Can you high five me? Thank you. You have to subscribe. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel. He even thinks it's awesome. Also, don't forget to visit our website, pcri.org.